Wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. You are watching Life with Ben exclusively on PTV. Ever since we started doing PTV Live, we've done taste shows. The taste of fall, the taste of Easter, the taste of New Year's Eve. Right now we're focusing on the taste of Christmas. I'm here at Safeway to see if I can find anything that we can sample on our show. Being that we're still here in November, there's still a lot of fall stuff out, but Christmas is moving in. <laughs> a lot. There's a lot of wine and chocolate pairings that are going on here, but I don't know that we'll be doing this exact thing on PTV Live, but you never know. Arnie and Doug come up with ideas. Sometimes Sherry will toss out ideas. I toss out ideas too, but uh, probably not this. This would require a lot of different bottles of wine being opened and a lot of different chocolates being purchased. And while that may be the taste of Christmas, <laughs> I don't know that we could necessarily do that on our show. The Pepperidge Farm Cookies area is always a really good place to find Christmas related items. But these aren't really unique either. I mean, we've, got, we've tried Linzer cookies, we've tried Milano's, but again, probably not stuff for the taste of Christmas, but still, it makes you think of Christmas. <laughs> Holy crap, I have never seen anything like this before. It is a wine advent calendar. Let's celebrate what's inside. You can have a little sampling of wine every single day of the year. These are amazing. And if you really think about it, a $60 price tag for an advent calendar full of wine, not a bad deal. Now we already did the tasting of the gingerbread Oreos on PTV Live. Of course, it got the Oreos that are done by color and shape. You get different designs with these ones. But you can also find cinnamon brown sugar cookies from Tate's Bake Shop, which in essence, I guess, would be a snickerdoodle. Plus there's the ginger snaps down here. All of these are like related to Christmas. Now, Megan, I know, is always looking for a panettone in her stocking. This is one of those Christmas treats that she always looks forward to. I'm sure someone will get one for her. I'm not going to pick one up right now because this isn't necessarily part of the taste of Christmas for PTV Live, but I just wanted to show you that there are different options out there other than what we do. A lot of people associate coffee with Christmas as well because that's what they drink on Christmas morning. Starbucks has their holiday blend, their peppermint mocha. And down here, they've got a gingerbread flavored coffee. I'm kind of figuring out that Safeway isn't necessarily the place to come to for the taste of Christmas, at least for this year. I found a lot of things that are associated with Christmas, but not necessarily stuff that we can use for our show. I'm gonna head over to Target. I just parked at Target, but I did want to let you know I did pick up the wine advent calendar. I'm thinking that might be the way life with Ben goes during the month of December, but you'll have to stay tuned to find out. In the meantime, let's go see what Target has that I might be able to add to the taste of Christmas. This empty card here is kind of sad, but it also shows opportunity. Let's see what we can find here at Target pick up for the taste of Christmas. Target's got the same variety of chocolates from Gear Deli that Safeway had, but they've also got the lint truffles over here. 
but there's nothing really unique about these. Let's see if we can find something interesting for the taste of Christmas. Target does have some things here called indulgent trail mixes and indulgent snack mixes. We've got peppermint mocha, candy cane, Rudolph's mix, and jingle blend. But again, not necessarily unique for the taste of Christmas. Now this is interesting. Fudge covered Ritz. I do like Ritz. I love chocolate. I'm gonna get some of these. I'm finding a lot of the Christmas stuff here at Target is mainly just repackaged candy with Christmas wrapping on it. Not necessarily unique to the season. The packaging's pretty, but I want something interesting to taste. This is what I'm talking about. A candy cane peep. I think I'm gonna have to take these. I may have to go to another store to find some stuff that is more Christmas related for the taste of Christmas. But I could not believe my eyes when I saw these. Magically delicious marshmallows. And they call it a fat-free food. I'm not going home to my freezer right away, but dear Lord, look at these offerings. They've got Ben and Cherries, chocolate chip cookie dough chunks, cinnamon sugar stickery doodles, cookie bone bites from Favorite Day, which is a house brand here at Target. And they've also got this awesome looking ice cream called Apple Crisp. Reminds me of Barney and Doug's apple pie jam that they make. It's super delicious. Mint Bark Hagen Dazs Ice Cream Bar is I how how can you go wrong with that? I've got one more stop in mind, and hopefully this does not disappoint, and they usually don't. We're going to Trader Joe's. When I walked into Trader Joe's, I saw a ton of Thanksgiving offerings. If we are in November after all, between the cranberry juice and the french fried onions and green bean casserole that everyone loves to complain about to stuffing mixes turkey stock gravy there was all kinds of things for november but i'm looking for the taste of christmas and i usually use trader joe's as my go-to place for that kind of thing pumpkin pie just does not scream taste of christmas oh well so like I said, Trader Joe's disappointed me. But then again, so did Safeway and Target. Maybe it's a little too early. While we here at Pepper Tree Villa are already in countdown to Christmas mode, not every store is. Some stores are actually grasping onto Thanksgiving and I applaud them for that. So I'll just have to wait for a week or two before I find more things for the taste of Christmas. Remember, adventure is out there. <laughs>